everybody, alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Black Mamba. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up like get a little good power punch? The right hand, solid. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Halfway through round number two. Good job fighting from the outside. A little head hunting with the right. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ it? Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Now hugging on the inside. There's that overhand right. Scores with the jab. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Just a thudding shot there that he landed. Ten seconds to go in this third round. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Black Mamba's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. He scores with the left. Boy, he's really working well on the outside, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a great job of disciplining himself. You know, we talk about power. We talk about speed. We talk about all those virtues, but... Just controlling himself and making sure he controls the distance, a distance that's got him winning the fight. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. And he's holding. To the head he goes with a left hand. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring.
seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent.